Welcome to How To Videos from Bugspray.com. Today I'm going to be showing you an active carpenter ant infestation. These ants are uh, currently trailing throughout this yard. There's a lot of mulch and pine straw and excellent nesting locations. If we look around the property we see pretty much everything that they need as far as uh, food and shelter. I've narrowed the nest down to a few locations and at this point I've already done some treatment. I've got some of our uh, advanced carpenter and granules applied. This bait they love. I've had it out for a day. They've been feeding on it and I know that they've been bringing it back to several nests. I know of a few nests, but I don't think I know all of them because there's a bunch on this property. We actually have one in the ground here I'm about to treat, and we've got some in these uh, garage door jams that I'm going to also treat. Because there's so much activity here, I'm able to do a couple of things to, uh, to knock these guys out. One thing I love doing when I know where nests are specifically is using the dust, the dry on dust, and I'm going to demonstrate that in a moment. As I said, I've also applied some of the bait, and I've also treated with some of the cypromethrin on uh, the structure. Hopefully this will keep any stragglers out of the house after the treatment, so any that are still living won't be able to set up shop on the house. Right now I'm about to do some dusting, so let me show you how that goes. As our online information details, treating the nest directly with a product like Dryon is very effective at knocking out the nest pretty much on the spot. I've identified a nest in the ground, which for carpenter ants is not all that common. Uh, what this means, of course, is that I can see where they're at and I'm going to be able to treat them directly, which is kind of a nice situation. I wish I had it happen more. Right now, as I said, I'm going to treat with the dry on, and this dust is very light and airy. I'm going to apply it into the ground where they're uh, nesting here. It's probably going to drive a lot out, so hopefully we'll get some good video here following the application. already preloaded the duster with dry on and now I'm just gonna get it into their nest. You can already begin to see what's happening here. These ants do not like the dry on and they're starting to uh, react from it. I'm going to keep dusting. I know that they're down in here. This garage door jam over here. There's an ant that was just dusted here. You can see he's not doing all that well. Typically this is what will happen to him following the application. It just knocks him right out. As we walk around we'll see several of these ants that have been dusted.
Yeah, this uh, this door jam's got some activity for sure. Let me get some more dust in there. Make sure I knock them out good. This would be your basic uh, carpenter ant nest. Uh, very, very common garage door jam where the wood comes in contact with the uh, ground. In a case like this, we get instant control with this dust. It's very powerful. The only uh, disadvantage, of course, is that you need to know where the nest is. And of course, I did my homework here. I researched this area, watched these guys, and I knew they were in here. It's not that hard. You've done a, lo a little time, get yourself a cup of coffee, come outside and watch them. I guarantee you that you'll be able to find out what they're doing and where they're going. The bottom line is these ants are either foraging from a nest or to a nest and all you need to do is step back and watch them and in most cases they're going to lead you to where there's a bunch more ants and at that point you can get a good handle on where you need to treat. Look at this over here. A little hole right through the slab. We're actually nesting down in there as well. Unbelievable. Now the one thing that you're gonna notice is that these ants are not moving properly. They're already being affected dramatically by the dust. And uh, that's what it does to them. They just kinda, look at this, here's a guy bringing in some food. He doesn't know what's going on. Got to get some more in here. Just to make sure I've got it good. I don't want these guys being able to relocate much. Now if we start panning the camera out, what you'll see is a bunch of ants looking like that. Not doing all that good. This is what the dust is going to do to them. Every place you look, you're seeing these ants kicking off. As I look out from a distance, I see literally 50 to 100 ants just from this one nest location, and they're still coming out. So, once again, as we pan out and look around, what we see are a bunch of uh, ants that are either dead or in the process of dying. This uh, dry on has really done a job on them. And uh, there are stragglers, as you'll see. And they're going to be trying to set up new nests. Many times they get separated from their colony, and that's not. That's not good for them. In other words, without the support of their colony, in most cases, they're going to die. But just as a uh, safeguard, in a case like this, I always like to get extra treatments surrounding the property. And uh, I've done that. I put out the uh, Max Force, I'm sorry, the uh, advanced carpenter ant granules in this situation. Pretty much either will do. I just so happen to have that have my fingertips. I've applied it all down in here. I've also sprayed the structure at the foundation with uh, the cypermethrin so that should help keep them out of the house. And I'll come back in a week, look the, uh, look the property over for any activity and do a follow-up treatment if needed, but I'm pretty sure I knocked out what was here. Hopefully this little clip will show you how to do some treatments with dry on. So if you've got a nest that you know about, go after it. Knock it out. There's uh, nothing quite as quick acting or as effective in reaching all the corners of those nests when they're up in a void someplace. And thank you for watching this how-to video from Bugspray.com.